blowing a boat out of the water instead of into pieces might only happen if the relative positions of ship and shockwave are spot on. And to find out just that, the Mythbusters are starting in miniature. Now, when we say we're going to blow a boat out of the water, we mean specifically blow a boat out of the water, not blow up a boat. That's not what we want. So, we're gonna start with this beautiful tank. It is large enough for us to detonate our miniature explosives. Oh, and our boat, which still needs a little bit of work. Their 15 grams of black powder is for a setup this size. But to find out if it can lift the boat rather than obliterate it, placement is key. Now, we figured there's a certain depth at which the explosive reaches this optimal relationship between the water and the boat to send the boat flying itself out of the water. And that depth is what we want to find. Ow. And first up will be, I guess, our control. Perfect. Which will be the explosives at the boat on the surface of the water. All right, Heineman, you ready? I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Whoa! Go. Whoa! <laughs> There's no more boat. <laughs> <laughs> That was genuinely thrilling. That was spectacular and kind of shockingly beautiful. Look at how this glowing ball forms this two-foot diameter hole in the water. It's almost perfectly spherical before it starts to collapse on itself. And the boat, well, the boat, she is no more. <laughs> 